is red A S M Hello this is Emma on a bean bag. I thought that we could have some crunchy sounds and fabricy sounds. And at the same time just some nice relaxing, chilled out time together, hanging out on a beanbag. I borrowed this from my daughter and when I asked her if I could use it, she didn't ask me why, so I think maybe she's used to my ASMR antics by now. It's been almost three years, which means a three year channel anniversary vlog coming up sometime. I think it's next month, so I shall get my thinking cap on for a celebration. So, I have some items to show you. And I have also a little life update, so something to tell you about. And I thought that I would just slide that in through the medium of show and tell. Two things in one. But first, I'm going to show you something else. And all of my show and tell items are packaged in this pretty shopping bag. I picked this up probably. Where are we now? So we're in May, just about. This was purchased in February, actually. And it has an owl on the front, as you can see. I've been seeing owls and been attracted to owls for a long time now, and I've just realised this. I have recently been told that my spirit animal is an owl, so no wonder I bought this and no wonder I hear owls before I start to film, I see them all over the place, um, in shops, jewellery, I see owls on television. So when I was getting together my show and tell and bobs for you. I saw this and I thought yes, I'll put everything together in the old bag. So whether or not you believe in spirit animals or not, if it's meaningful to you or just a bit of fun, this is mine. I 
I was also looking through some old pictures the other day and found a picture of me with a huge owl on my arm. I was on holiday a short weekend away in the in England and I visited some owls. You shall hear that back throughout the video as I get things out for you. Let me pop it down beside me very carefully. Like so. So, before I fill you in on something that's been going on with me, the first item unrelated to that is this I wanted to show you. Okay, I was recently away in Portugal over Easter and the weather there was really lovely for Easter time. It's a little bit hit and miss that time of year but it's definitely warmer than England I have to say. But there was one day where we had showers very light and warm showers, it was really nice. And so I decided to go shopping. And I was in a shopping centre, small one. There was a lady with a stall there. And she was selling all Native American things. A really nice lady. I bought a scarf from her and also this. It is an incense holder. It's made from wood and has these painted sun and moon. And all around these stones and I must remember to speak to my friend Diane who is free spirit ASMR and ask her what the stones are you can see a hole there in the mouth of the sun and if you open the bottom there, you can see inside there's a holder for the incense. So you light your incense and pop it in here as it's burning, put the lid on and the 
smoke from the incense comes out of the mouth and there are some holes here at the bottom just really drawn to it and thought this would be something I'd use and keep for a long long time as a memento One of the sounds I love about this is this one. The crunchy wood sound. This is one of the stones here It looks like black and I'm not up on the names of black stones But I know the stone on the top of it is a quartz And the stone on the front here is blue. There's another quartz there. I love it, it's really pretty. And handmade, you can see. So lots of love and care has gone into this. It even has fingerprints over here. So, let's see what else I have. explore different therapies and learn about how other therapies heal people because I'm very interested in ASMR being a tool for healing and therapy for well-being. So I was reading about sound therapy and instead of just reading about it I decided to start a course and 
train in sound therapy, and I thought that as I, as I was training that I could learn lots, and I was interested to see how sound therapy relates to ASMR, and it relates to it a lot. So it's been a very worthwhile venture, and I'm really, really pleased to have taken that road. I will, fingers crossed, qualify as a sound therapy practitioner in August this year. And so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that and show you some of the things I use during treatments. inside this um, scarf here is something I've slipped into a video already. I just thought I'd pop it in there and see if anyone noticed. So I haven't made much of a big deal out of this course that I'm on. I wanted to crack on with it and learn before I spoke and to find my feet with it, really. And I won't go into it into too much depth right now, because so I'll show you the things and tell you a little bit. Um, but I will write a thorough blog post soon and make a video or two or three all about it. So this is a little introduction. Here are two tuning forks. I have a C and a G. The perfect. These are used for the basic sound healing treatment which I have been taught and I am practicing now. But there are a range, as you may know, of tuning forks. All different notes and some relate to certain areas in the body and some are relating to different chakras. So there is the intuitive healing side of sound therapy, but also there's the medical side, which is also very, very interesting. Sound therapy is so fascinating. I could learn about it for the rest of my life and I would never stop learning. So, I'm really enjoying the course. But these are the first things I bought. And I bought them from a really special lady who I will talk about in my blog when I do that. That's the and this one is the G. They're placed either side of the ears during the treatment and They sound like this. We 
do this three times. They're used to tune the nervous system, tune the body. And the people I've been working with for my case studies tell me that puts them into a very deep state of relaxation. Sound therapy is absolutely fascinating and I love it. And the more I do it, the more I realise that it's very similar to what happens with ASMR, except we use different sounds, different instruments. But what's interesting to me is that a lot of the treatments I'm learning focus on using the voice. And in ASMR we use our voice a lot. Our voice is the most personal instrument we have. It's the only instrument made by whoever made us. So The next item I have is one of my favourite things. This is made by Woodstock Chimes. And it's my Xenergy Chime Bar. So part of the treatment I'm learning is at the start. And as I said, we mix intuitive healing with sound therapy we tune into the body and we work on the energy field of the person we can use our voice to tune in or we can use one of these and what fascinates me is when I'm working on a person or someone is working on me and you're scanning the body much like a Reiki practitioner does with their hands. You scan the body with your voice and your voice alters when it hits a blockage of some sort around the body. And when you use the chime, the sound of the chime alters as well. And that's wonderful. I'll show you the chime and I popped it back in the box so that we would have the pleasure of opening it.
So this is a chime bar sitting over the top of a wooden base here and it's suspended by this black cord beautiful angelic sound very soothing and when you use it to tune in to the person it again puts them into a relaxation state and tunes not only their body but their mind into what's happening and puts them in the moment sets the energy for the treatment I've also been learning about the vagus nerve which is in your ear and that connects to every organ in your body so when we soothe our ears we tell our vagus nerve that everything is okay no need to panic and it puts your body into the relaxation mode the rest and digest mode so we heal ourselves So at the very least, sound therapy and sound healing puts us in to a relaxation state which is beneficial for our bodies. We're healthier, we sleep better, we worry less. good for our health, both physically and mentally. I love this child. And the first time I used it over a person, I got so excited when the sound altered. It had a nice steady chime and then suddenly it just changed pitch and then back down again as I travelled over the person. Everything vibrates and everything has a frequency. (laughs) 
and I believe, in the same way that the chimes work in sound therapy, in ASMR, so does the tapping. believe when we tune into sounds and become more sensitive to sounds, we're tuning in to the now. And the more we live in the now, the healthier we are and the happier we are. So another little tool I have, and the last thing I have to show you is this. in this box isn't essential for sound healing or sound therapy, but it's nice to have and can be used before the treatment to set intention and clear energy. Start afresh. Let's have a look inside. These are Tibetan symbols. They're very beautiful and make a wonderful sound. These have dragons on them. Tibetan symbols or Tingsha. There are three main techniques for striking the Tingsha to create a sustained sound. The leather thong is held between fingers and thumb just above the center of each symbol. Suspend the Tingsha horizontally a few inches apart then draw them together so that their edges strike. Now, or you can suspend one tincture horizontally while holding the downward striking tincture vertically in the opposite hand. Or you can hold them both together at right angles and strike the edges together.
shall make the very slightest sound with them so you can hear I do have a couple of other things as well, but they deserve their own video. Other instruments that can be used in sound treatments are the crystal balls and the Himalayan balls. You can use uh, drums as well and cymbals, but the larger instruments are normally used for sound baths, which are amazing experiences. If you have not been to a sound bath, I would suggest that you do because it's really wonderful. To feel the sound resonating through your body is a wonderful thing and it's very therapeutic. It's good for your organs, good for your bones, and good for your mind. So that's that. To be continued. As I said, I shall explain more as we go along about my sound journey. I will be blogging about it and I will be demonstrating therapy treatments on the channel sometime. again. Thank you for joining me and the 
this lovely bean bag. I hope you enjoyed the sounds it made as I moved around, reaching into the bag and showing you things. You take care. See you soon. Goodbye. Good night.